Let's do Advent. <laughs> do that one first. <laughs> we could do them on your desk if your desk wasn't. Why are you shutting down your computer? Are you it's not not time for bed yet. Go ahead. You can do that one first. Let's find number 15. Oh, Santa! Another Santa. Now he's starting to get aggravated with it. <sighs> Why would they give you more than... I don't think this is supposed to be Santa. I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I think we've both given up on this one at this point. Let's... Try this one, maybe we'll get something fun. Wow. Let's find number 15. Yeah, where is the 15? Oh, it's up there. Careful, don't rip off the 20. Ooh, what's that? A pink bouncy block. It's like a suction cup. Suction Look at cup. I know what this is, because I saw this in the video. But this is a pencil. It's kind of like tentacles, and you stick it to your, look at, stick it to your desk. I'll show you because I saw this in the video. I'd never seen these before either. You squish them down onto the desk. It's not going to stick to that though. Look. Your desk has, has too much crap on it, probably. You got crumbs and everything on your desk. But it's supposed to suction to the desk and then you pull it up. But it's not working. I'll find a different. Probably not smart to put it on here, but it'll stick to this. See? And then you go. Ragnar left! Ragnar. Oh no! <laughs> you know what? It'll work on the refrigerator. Let's do advent calendar. We only got about a week of it left to do, and then we're done. Wow! Till next year, in which I hope Mom finds a better advent calendar than that wooden <laughs> ornament one. <laughs> 16 today. Hi, Ragnar. Of course, he's here to help. What do we got today? Jingle Snowman! Is it a snow snowman? Oh, like a mustard. It's a mustard snowman. <laughs> yeah, Rag? Hey, go find a spot for him on your tree. Yes, Raggy. It's not bedtime yet, bud. Hey, it's not bedtime. Not the ready. ornament's falling off. We'll pick up the ones that fell off. If they fell off, it's because you were jiggling around too much. Meow. 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 Let's do for the meow calendar. Meow, Aiden, and meow. Yes, baby, I see you. Oh, it's a small one today. Tonight. Can he get it? Can he get it? No. <laughs> Oh, you pushed it all the way in there. I'm going to have a hard time getting this out. Hold on, maybe I can pop the rest of it out and then just pull this piece out. It's a little metal thing. Look, see? You can basically just Jingle it. fidget it with it like that and it keeps going and going and going. I don't know what these are called like an infinity loop thing. I don't know. Here you go. <laughs> Aid, before I go take my shower, let's do your advent, okay? Oh, he's not even in here. And 17 now, right? Guys, we are on number 17. <coughs> I think it's hard. Help. It's a hard one. Oh, okay. I gotta poop it. You got it. Poop. Poop. <laughs> Stop yeah. saying poop. Stop saying poop. Oh no! Stop. Don't be sad. I'm not sad. There you go. What's that? Another snowman with a different type of hat. A snowman. It's a snowman. It's a snowman. 
fun. All right. <laughs> oh, what is up with this guy? Look at. No, I don't think it's a snowman. It's a person. Cause look, they've got peach a peach face and peach hands. Very poorly painted. Okay, I find a spot for him. <laughs> Okay, and then... Hi, Floki. Where's Ragnar? Ragnar usually helps us with this. Ooh, How big is this one? Oh, this is a long, Ooh, this. long one today. You got a spot for it? Yeah. Did it just fall? Yeah. I'm almost done with my advent calendar. This yeah. is Bench's fidget toy advent calendar. This one's super long. I'm going to put it out of the back. <laughs> Trying a different strategy to open this today. Oh my god, you see how much force I'm putting behind this and it still won't open? You broke it. You can't open it. See? Stop! <sighs> my goodness. It's up to you. It's like a giant straw. Now, let's look at a toy. It's a slinky straw. Pull it. Pull it apart. Pull. See, it makes all kinds of noise. <laughs> it looks like a giant straw. Look it. Let me see. Don't do that with you. You can do this with it. Don't do that with your nose. I thought you were supposed to be able to whip it. Stop! <laughs> you don't like the whip? I can whip it. <laughs> A twirl it or helicopter it, whatever they say. I thought they were supposed to make noise. There are some like that that make noise when you like whirl them around in the air, but that'll be fun for school tomorrow. <laughs> it is still Sunday night, so the la those last two clips you just saw were Saturday nights and, s and tonight's uh, advent calendar clips. The Saturday one should have technically been in last week's video. That's why like I'm editing it now and I realized I didn't add it to this one. But I want this to be able to go up in a timely fashion so I'm almost done editing it. I don't want to have to grab more clips to put into this video so that's why you saw two in a row like that. But this morning it's like some sort of issue with the cats every morning now. Um, well, it, I guess it, it did happen this morning, but we didn't find out about it till this afternoon when Steven turned his computer on. The cats smashed his computer monitor. Like, it's technically a television. It's a TV that he uses as a computer monitor because he wanted like a giant one and it's cheaper to buy a TV than... I don't even know if they make computer monitors, like technical computer monitors that big for like... whatever. He turned it on, it's all spider webbed. And then he realized that the uh, stand on his microphone, like this thing, the little tripod, one of the legs was completely smashed off so that the cats were chasing each other, smashed the friggin' uh, microphone into the computer screen, and the TV is junk now. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. <sighs> I'm, I'm trying so hard to stick up for Floki because Steven keeps getting so pissed that he's peeing on things. But man, I was so pissed off about this today. I, I just, I don't even know how they did it because the way the stuff is set up, I don't understand how they hit it that hard to smash the friggin' thing. But anyway, I guess it's a good thing that it's Christmas time and there's TVs on sale everywhere because I was able to find one at Best Buy for not too much. So um, it's actually slightly bigger than the one he has there now, but like I'm not keen on keeping that friggin' computer setup down there where it is because I don't want this happening again after we just had to buy a new TV. Um, so I don't know where we're gonna put it. The thing about this house is we need one more room. It's it's too it's not big enough. We need one extra room because like we initially were going to put his computer set up in our bedroom, but there's no room for it. Our bedroom is tiny and we have two beds cuz we don't sleep in the same bed. We can't sleep in the same bed together or we'll hate each other. 
because he snores and I spread out too much when I sleep. So <sighs> maybe there's a way that we can uh, rearrange it, but I don't think so. We're going to have to wait until we move someday for him to have a like an actual computer setup. Um, I did my roots yesterday. Didn't straighten my hair or anything yet. I have a headache again. It's getting very annoying. Um, what else? It's not really that much else to talk about. I was just super aggravated today. I had to like uh, make a list of everything I have to do this week because I want to, I have so much cooking to do. My grandma wants me to do a lasagna for Christmas because she doesn't like, well, she likes ham, but she can't eat it. Like anything pork upsets her stomach so much. And my uncle loves lasagna too. So I offered to do a lasagna. So I'm going to have to do that on Saturday. I mean, well, Saturday or Sunday, I guess, because I'll just refrigerate it and then we'll heat it up on Christmas. Um, I have to do the cheesecake, which will have to be like Saturday. I could do that Friday, I guess, Friday or Saturday. And I have to do a bunch of fudge. Um, I'm gonna like quadruple the recipe that I normally do of my peppermint bark fudge that everybody loves because uh, I offered to make Steven a bunch of extra to take to everyone at work because they are very much a place that everybody's always like cooking for each other and bringing food in. So. I was like, you're the new guy, let me make some treats for Christmas so that you can bring them in for everyone. And he's like, there's like 46 people that work there or something like that. And I'm like, if I make a giant tray, not everybody's gonna want some, I don't think. <sighs> and like, it's very rich fudge. And if I do like a nine by 13 tray, I get tons of pieces out of that, so. That should be good enough. It's probably going to be so loud in the background because we are having such a storm. I've slept like crap. Steven slept like crap because it kept waking us up. It is so windy. Um, I'm surprised everybody's trash barrels haven't been knocked over in the street because it's trash day today. And then on top of that, I wake up and eat and sick to his stomach. So I called him out of school because I'm like, I'm not dealing with this today having to worry about classes and all that kind of crap. Um, we lost our power for like 30 seconds. Thankfully it wasn't longer than that. If this was our old town, we wouldn't have power for days with this storm. Um, so I'm just going to try to have a chill day because I still have a headache. <laughs> you know what? I was looking at my, my period tracker last night. Like I have it, the, the Fitbit uh, app on my phone and that has a period tracker in it but I use flow f-l-o because that one's just more accurate and stuff um, and more in depth uh, and I feel like I just had it but that's why I have a headache it's my warning headache because it, it said your period's predicted to start tomorrow and it's always like right on track look and see Loki does not want to sleep unless he's near us because the storm is freaking him out. Oh, my window? <laughs> yeah, it's very, everything's rattling, the house is shaking. Shit. <laughs> this is how the day is going. So, Aiden decided that he, he felt better after he pooped and then he started crying because he wanted to do school. So the only thing he missed was his morning meeting, and he's been in school all morning. Um, and then I just got in a notification on my phone that Shipt is delivering the TV. So uh, I've got to like be on top of this and pay attention. It just says it's out for delivery. It's not like updating me on anything. I even installed the Shipt app just in case it like coincides with my phone number and will tell me when the person's close, like those. Uh, I know that I've used Instacart before. I used that like at the beginning of the pandemic when it was so hard to get groceries delivered. Um, and it will tell you like when the person's like close and then when they're at your door. Because I would hope that nobody's going to just 
leave it outside in the rain and take off without ringing the doorbell. But also, there's no car in our driveway, so they might just think that there's nobody here. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of worried about this now. I wish that I wish that it had just come been shipped normal, like FedEx or UPS or something, and that I wouldn't have had to worry about this today. It probably would have come like Friday or something, when it's not pouring rain and super windy out. Um, so I'm just gonna hope that they ring the doorbell to let me know that they're here if I get no sort of like notification on the phone. It is almost, it's like an hour later since the last time I came on here. <laughs> um, now the sun is out. <laughs> it's like 60 degrees outside, which is unheard of in this, this late into December around here. And it stopped raining. The sun is out. I had to go, I just came in from outside because our, the recycling came, but the regular trash didn't come yet. So the recycling bin is empty. So it was freaking toppled over. So I just put that in the backyard. <sighs> I'm going, what was that? There's stuff flying everywhere. Everybody's trash is blowing all over the street. None of mine has come out of the, uh, the trash bin, thank God. Um, the TV has not come yet. <laughs> I'm like obsessively checking the front every time I hear a car like slow down. But as long as it stays not raining, I'm not as worried about it now because it's not going to get soaking wet if it's sitting outside for a few minutes. I just wish I had some sort of notification that gives me like a general idea on a time because now Aiden's going to get back on school until 2.30 because he has science and then he has uh, music today. And then after that, it's fine, because I don't have to worry about trying to uh, go run downstairs while he's he needs help with something. Music is usually fine, because they, they never do much in music. He loves music class, because it's usually like they'll listen to a song or something like that, um, and just play around with like making music on different apps and stuff. So he never needs my help for that stuff. So if it should happen to come during music class, that's fine. But I know with my luck, someone will be knocking on the door in the middle of his science quiz or something. All right, it just came. Just as I thought, nobody rang the bell, they left it on my front steps. <laughs> so um, at least it's nice and light. But I don't know why he, like we got a 43 inch because the I think the one that was, look at. This is the one that was there. It's much smaller. It was like 30 something. This friggin' this one is not going to fit on his computer desk. <laughs> oh, Steven, why didn't you measure first? So I set it up and it looks ridiculous. And I'm worried about how little room this has between like, I mean, it's a very light TV because all TVs are pretty lightweight now. And this desk is just my old brown desk that he's using with a different tabletop on it. So <laughs> ideally, I would like to just move his setup into my office. But the way my office is set up right now, there's no room. So I need like gaming need people. Asana. Insignia. Insignia TV. I need gaming people to tell me what would be best for this. I'm thinking like a corner desk, but all the ones I see are not like wide enough um he doesn't want the computer tower on the floor because we have baseboard heat and he doesn't want it to like overheat or anything so i don't know what to do like i don't want to buy a whole new desk setup right now but this looks ridiculous <laughs> and it sucks that it's in our living room so there's really nothing i can do about it i have aiden's old tv over there that we still haven't gotten rid of with the old desk chair um and then now I have the other TV that just broke that I need to get rid of. So there's just crap everywhere and it's driving me nuts. Let's do advent time. Here, take that one so I can grab the other one. And What's that? Is your key? Yep. See, you had to check this time. <laughs> <laughs> My finger! 
My finger. Your finger gets stuck? You hurt yourself? Yes. Yeah, this thing can get you sometimes. Not as bad as the other one, though. <laughs> so a Christmas tree, there's something different. A Christmas tree to put on your Christmas tree. <laughs> on the top of a tree. Look Let's see. ornaments around there now. Is there a spot for it? No. I think there's... There's plenty of spots left. You can fit, hang it in one of the circles if it fits. Okay, now let's do Mrs. Bench's fid fidget calendar. Hi, Raggy. I'm doing a dog calendar. Hi, Raggy. Why do you have to come in here in the way every night, boy? I can't get it. Ragnar, are you going to get it for me? Camera's just focusing on his ears. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, jump up. Oh, oh, almost got it. My goodness, I'm glad this one is almost over with. I can't open it. Got it? I'm stuck. A bird! A red bird! What the heck? It looks like a... Looks like a balloon animal. Yeah. Do, 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 I think do, it's supposed do. to be a giraffe, maybe? It looks like a balloon animal. I don't know if it, it's stretchy, right? Yeah, look, you can pull it. It's kind of like a stretcher, stretchy thing. <laughs> See? <laughs> Hours of fun. <laughs> so far today, it's going a lot better than yesterday. It is sunny out. It's a little bit chilly, but um, at least there's no ridiculous windstorm and pouring rain outside. And then last night, I should have gone to bed early because I had such crap the night before, crap, crap sleep the night before. I just ate lunch, so now I'm going to be hiccuping. Um, but I was watching um, Ink Master because I needed to catch up on that. I can never watch it when Steven's around because he never wants to watch it with me. Um, and he went to bed early last night because he had to be at work for 6 today instead of 7.30. So... <laughs> Um, he was already tired from the night before, too, from not getting any sleep, so I was like, I'm gonna catch up on this. I didn't catch all the way up, because I still have, like, two episodes that I'm behind on. But, like, I don't understand how, with as long as that show has been on for it, like, it's been on for years. I can't even remember when I started watching that. When did Ink Master start? Because I've seen pretty much every season. I think I might have missed a season when we didn't have... Whatever channel it was running on at the time, they got rid of it from our cable package, because it was when... Steven's grandma still insisted that we still get cable TV. <clears throat> it started in 2012, for Christ's sake. <laughs> so it's been on for 11 years. I don't understand how there's still people that go on that show. Like, obviously, you pr have to apply to be on that show, right? There's people that go on, and then they get there, and they're like, what am I going to do? I never do black and gray tattoos, or what am I going to do? I never do color tattoos. The title is Ink Master. You need to, like, know how to do everything, a little bit of everything, to win that show. So why, I don't understand why they act so surprised. They're like, oh my god, I have to do a color tattoo this week? I never do color. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sitting there yelling at the TV by myself at, with the cats. It's just so aggravating. And this season is pissing me off so bad because they are totally opposite of what I'm like all the ones I like they hate and say they're horrible and then all the horrible ones like there's a guy that should have been gone day one because he sucks and he's still there and I don't understand why and then the last episode I watched last night they got rid of the girl Jenna and I don't know why because I thought that tattoo was super cool she did they had to do like two different animals and blend them together which is hard to begin with but she had like a raccoon and a moth and it came out super cute it was a, a cutesy raccoon and it had like moth wings hanging down and they didn't like it because she used like teal and green together and the colors were too close so there wasn't enough of a contrast I'm like are you kidding me the guy that I can't stand that has done shitty work every single tattoo did this crappy looking tiger head on a shark body and I'm like how is he still there he wasn't even in the bottom three that made no sense to me the three people in the bottom three should 
should not have been in the bottom three because the the other girl Jazzy, she did a really cool hippopotamus with a freaking snail uh snail body like a snail shell they didn't like that one because she made it too dark and then what was the other one that was in the bottom three <clears throat> it was a a werewolf and a phoenix i think or a werewolf and a peacock and they didn't like that one because she they didn't sh she the girl that did it didn't show enough of like the werewolf in the thing which it wasn't a horrible tattoo but i thought out of those three hers should have been the one that went home but i really thought the guy that did the freaking tiger head on a shark bo body that was like it just it was something like anybody could do. It was a very beginner looking tattoo and I don't understand why he's still there. So I got all worked up over that last night and I was like, fuck this, I'm going to bed. I'm not watching another episode tonight. So I don't know if I'm going to finish watching more tonight or not, but I need to catch up on the rest of it. It's a show I can't really um, have on while I'm doing work stuff or working in here because I have to keep looking at it. So whenever I'm doing like work, I just have mindless stuff like 90 Day Fiance playing in the background so that I don't have to look at the screen every two seconds to see what's going on. Um, so yeah, I was all aggravated last night about that. <laughs> and then um, a few nights ago, it was last week sometime, I don't remember what night it was, but we watched that movie on Netflix, Leave the World Behind, and... Steven and I were so pissed off at the ending and everybody that I see like on Facebook and stuff that has watched it have they have the same like thoughts on it that we did. <laughs> it's like it was a good movie but then you get to the end and there's so many questions that go unanswered and it ends so abruptly you're like what the hell that's the end of it like I was almost waiting for like more after the credits and there was nothing so like don't watch it if you haven't seen it yet because you're going to be left with so many questions and super aggravated at the ending and it was just I was so mad at the end of that but then I've seen things where like people are saying it's good they're going to turn it into a tv series and crap like that so who knows but I did not like the way that movie ended there was so much stuff that like you're like why did they do that if they weren't going to talk about it anymore and like why did that happen if they weren't going to touch on that anymore? It was just like, it felt like a very unfinished movie. So that was another, another aggravation. But, um, other than that, we haven't watched any other movies lately because we can never find anything at night. And then we're just like, look, put it on YouTube or something stupid so that we can just watch silly videos. Do the advents. We're almost done with them. Number 19! <sighs> Today's Uncle Brad's birthday. Maybe on... Today. Um, <laughs> it's today. It's on June 3rd, I think. Nobody has a birthday on June 3rd. Uh, Not in our family. Is that a boring red ball again? Uh, oh my goodness. This calendar, I'm telling you. Here you go. <laughs> We're going to have to repaint all those ornaments and make them cool. Careful. Oh, look at one of your squiggly things fell on the floor. Go put it in the bucket up there. Where did it go? Here. I can't do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> we just cleaned your room. Let's not make a mess. Number 19. Get right in the corner and shove it. Like this. Pull out of the back. <laughs> Ugh, will it let you rip it that way or no? It's a new toy! Oh, this is one of those suction cup thingies. That's on the, there's a picture of it right here. See? Yeah. There's like too much resistance on it for it to actually stick together. It's really tough. I don't know if he's going to be able to do this one. See, look. It makes like a popper noise. Can I? It might be tough. Try it. Yeah, you might have to use two hands. <laughs> this is a tough one. I don't know why they put that in there. 
<laughs> if you use your thighs, it works. <laughs> Good thinking. No, 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 no. Don't go peeking. <laughs> That's for d night 24. That's for Christmas Eve. This bruise on my hand because I keep whacking the cat tree when I walk by it by accident. Yeah, you can rip off all the little extras. Here, take the night 17 one too. Take that off. Hold on, don't rip... So what do we have left? We have 20, 21, where's 22, 22 is up here, 23, and then the big one for 24. These are kind of all over the map. Here. <laughs> it's like obs obsessed with taking all the old ones off now. Look, here's 16. Once you pull off 8 and 9 that are over here, and then I'll get 11 because it looks like we're going to accidentally peek at whatever's under here. Got it? Okay, and there's that one. Now all you have left are the ones that we have left to do this week. Okay? Yay. No more. Yay! <laughs> Look at these boys. They're so comfy. Yeah, they are comfy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ragnar's tail looks like it's your tail, Floke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, will you stop trying to lick the cats? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. What is he doing to you guys? Licking? Y yeah, but you no, you're not a kitty. You don't need to clean them like kitties do. <laughs> He's trying to lick you. That's yucky. Oh, Floki's had enough. He's like, you're not oh, licking me. Floki, get into the tunnel. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I refolded this nice and neat, so they're all about it. Probably going to spend the whole day sleeping here. Look at his tail. I need to find him a nice brush because the brush I have, he gets very aggravated with it. I don't know if his hair is... His hair is very fine and soft, so... I think the, the prickly type of brush is not good for him, even though he's got long hair, because it just aggravates him when he tries to attack it. So, you need a better brush, bud, because your tail is out of control, and I need to be able to brush it. You're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> I have such a dilemma today, because... I woke up and, of course, my brain, the immediate thing I thought of was, shit, I didn't get candy canes. I need at least candy canes or peppermint starlight candies or something to put in the peppermint bark part of the peppermint bark fudge. And when I had, I ordered the <coughs> groceries last week, I got everything. I have shitloads of white chocolate chips and milk chocolate chips here in front of me. I had ordered candy canes and they didn't have them. They were going to replace them with spearmint and that's not going to work. So I canceled the candy canes. I don't know why no place around here has friggin' peppermint candy canes. This happens like every year and I end up having to get the peppermint starlights. But I need to make this stuff today because Steven's taking the fudge to work tomorrow. <laughs> and I just tried to door dash some. And, like, the only place that has them is CVS. And for two boxes of candy canes, it was going to be, like, $28 or something with all the fees and shit. And I'm like, I'm not paying that much for candy canes. So what I'm going to do is make it the way I usually make it. Um, the peppermint flavoring is what gives it the peppermint flavor anyway. The candy canes don't do much but give it a little crunch on the top. So I have holiday sprinkles. And I'm just going to use the sprinkles on top of it. And it's still going to be peppermint bark fudge. It's just going to be candy caneless. So it'll still look festive and everything. But that was the only thing I could think of to do because I'm not paying that much for two boxes of cheap candy canes. I thought maybe I might have had some sort of peppermint candy around, but I looked everywhere and I don't have anything. So uh, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of and that's what I'm going to do with my fudge today. So... As soon as Aiden's done with school, that's going to be like the rest of my afternoon is friggin' making this. And just everything is going wrong because I had ordered a double boiler. Because I usually just use two pots, like one on top of the other. 
and it comes and it's this little tiny thing. This is not big enough to do like, how, how much is in one bag? Almost two cups worth of chocolate chips per bag. And this only holds like one cup. <laughs> so I, can, I mean, I can use this when I'm making my lotions and stuff. That'll come in handy for that. But I thought it was a normal size bowl and that is my fault again for not looking at the dimensions or anything. So I'm just gonna make it the way I usually make it. I'm gonna have to do it in two separate batches because, well, it'll melt quicker in smaller batches anyway. But um, I gotta do two separate batches because I have to make the one for Steven's work and then the one for us and my family. And that's gonna be the rest of the day. So like I said yesterday, I'm happy I'm caught up on everything. I was able to clean Aiden's room yesterday, got rid of so much stuff. Well, we have like a trash bag full of stuff that is sitting at the top of the stairs, but he helped me go through and pick stuff that he didn't want anymore and all that, so we're good. Um, I don't know when I got these. <laughs> I know I didn't buy them this year, so they must be from last Christmas, but uh, they're just little sugar things, so there's, there's no expiration date on them anyway. It's just sprinkles. I'm trying to figure out... Uh, let me see how crunchy they are. Yeah, I mean, this will give it a little bit of crunch that the peppermint bark part of it usually has. And I'm not going to film making it because I think I have two different videos of me making it on my channel, like recipe videos. I have it from like years and years ago from when I first started doing it, this fudge. And then a few years ago I did it too, when we lived at the old house, like my updated version of it, so I will do that. Um, <clears throat> I might try to do, what else am I making? <laughs> I, can't... I might do a video about my cheesecake, because like every year when I post that on Facebook everybody asks me for the recipe, and that that is also like something that I kind of made up myself like I, from combining different recipes and just because um, like the main cheesecake recipe I got from something that was like some kind of strawberry shortcake cheesecake and then I've tweaked it over the years but my thing is I make homemade caramel put it on the top of it oh no I forgot the hot fudge <laughs> something. I usually put hot fudge dripping around the outer corner, the outer edges of it. Well, you know what? I was going to make the cheesecake Saturday, but probably not going to get the groceries till Sunday because we have so much stuff to do on Saturday. So maybe I can end up getting hot fudge in the next grocery order and I'll still be able to make it. I gotta like rearrange all my days now because I had certain days that I was going to do certain things. I'm so aggravated now. I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. I just finished a batch. I'm going to make another tray later, but at least one batch is done and it looks successful. I don't know if it needs more sprinkles or not. I think it looks good like this, <laughs> but I just put this, um, this tray in here. I just, oh, now the stupid old, I have that alarm normally off on the refrigerator, but because we lost power the other day, it reset and I forgot to fix it. But I just did the white chocolate on top because the fudge part had already set. So now that just has to harden and then I will cut them up later. But at least I have Aiden, um, uh, Aiden's, Steven's tray for work done. I have a mess going on over here because I'm going to make the second batch of fudge, but this is all cut up and set to go to work with Steven tomorrow. It made more than enough, so I'm happy about that. It's on the little, in the little, uh, holiday tin. I got these off Amazon. It was a two-pack, and I figured the other one will come in handy for taking stuff to my grandma's house. But it looks nice. It's holiday. It's festive. And that's done for now. So <laughs> there's really no rush on making the batch for us, but I'm going to get it done today anyway, just so that, I mean, the, I already have the pan for the chocolate part and the pan for the white 
chocolate part so why wash them and have to do it again another day um i'm gonna make the next batch when aiden's done with school and yeah that's my peppermint bark fudge for the year my cricket machine is going i know that's annoying in the background but i'm just telling you guys that i'm about to film a like sit down wrapping all my christmas presents video I've seen a lot of people doing that who are doing like vlogmas this year and it, I've watched all of them it's just a very like relaxing video so I don't know how long it's gonna be I'll end up having to edit it down because I haven't wrapped anything yet so everything needs to be wrapped right now um, so I'm gonna go film that and that will probably be up if I can edit it in time it'll probably be up before this video but if not then it'll be up after but if that's anything you're interested in just a chit chat wrapping presents and showing you what I got my family um, that will be on my channel at some point it's time for advent calendar here it is hold on don't do it without me I'm almost done with this <laughs> you are almost done with it my feet look so red because I just got out of the shower <laughs> I can't open it. Just go easy. Nothing. There's nothing in there. Dang it. Hold I on. lost the toy Ragnar. All right, hold on. It's uh, another of the same little person that we got the other night. Why are they repeating? Are you mad? <laughs> no, I'm not. No? I'm kind of mad that uh, this thing was like 15 bucks and they gave you crap in that one. Let's Ooh, do... I put up so far. I know you have a lot on there. You've got 20 ornaments on the tree. A hoverboard. What? A game. Oh, it's like little buttons. Yeah. That was night 20. It look, there's a little, uh, what do you call it? Like a loopy thing to put on. Oh, this one looks fun. It's like a little video game controller. Dad will like this one. Oh. This one's like a spinny thing. Yeah. And but little... I like to play Xbox. <laughs> yeah. I'll put the does this have a little hole to put this on here? No? Oh yeah, it does, right right on the end. And it's got this thing too, look it. I like that thing. <laughs> Alright. You guys, look how big the fluffy white and orange kitten got. He or she is bigger than the mom now. <laughs> Like, same size or possibly even bigger than Ragnar. But also, I just saw two more white kittens playing in the backyard over there. I don't know where they are now. But one of the other cats must have had, like, I don't know which one had kittens, but there's more kittens from somewhere, and it's aggravating the crap out of me. Look, there they are. Right there and right there. Those are two white kitties that are pretty small that have not been around before. And they're in <laughs> the lady next door's yard. So I'm assuming, I don't know which cat had kittens because none of the ones that come over to see me looked like they were pregnant. But here we are with two more kitties. <sighs> These ones haven't come over to for me to feed them yet. There's the fluffy gray one. She's the one that's always, always over here. I'm, I don't think she was pregnant again. I think she's just fat. She's always a chunky, chunky girl because she friggin' whacks all the other cats to get out of her way when she's eating. But these little kitties were definitely, they're gonna be Tonka's cats. The, that white and orange cat that I call Tonka. Because the, these guys are mostly white. That one's got an orange head. That one's got way more white. I just wish that there would stop being so many kittens around here. And I think I've mentioned it before, but I've looked into those, um, the programs that will like catch and then neuter and spay and then release them back to where they were caught. We don't have any, like, you would think living in a city with a ton of people that there would be something like that 
to take advantage of, and there is not. Like, the closest one I found is several towns over, and they won't do our area. So, like, is there no one that can help me do this? Like, I can't get it. I could get a trap and start trapping them, but I can't afford to go have them fucking spayed and neutered, so... <laughs> I believe it is, it's $168 per cat if it's a male, and then female, uh, when I first got the boys, I was looking that up, and I don't remember what the, the female one was, two something. It's more expensive to do females than males, because it's a more, like, not complicated, but it's a, I guess, yeah, more complicated surgery. So, um... Of, can I overhear now? With the amount of cats that are over there, even if we just did like all the males, because there's not as many males as there are females over there, I, uh, I don't know. It's just like, I shouldn't be the one worrying about this because this is this lady's issue. Is the she brought all these cats? <laughs> like, the, the origin story of this was I, when we moved here, she told us that the people who lived here before, not like directly before us, but years ago, left their cats behind, which they must have been assholes. So then those cats that were left started reproducing, and that's where all these kitties have come from. They're just... Um, the ones she's been able to get into the house she has, I don't know how many are in her house now, but these ones outside will not let you get near them. Like that fluffy gray one. Ever since we moved here, I've been trying to get that cat to let me at least pet her, and she does not. So it's like, it's one of those things that like I'll feed her and try to uh, help take care of her. But I'm spending so much money on cat food every week now because I've I've got specific urinary health food for them now. Um, that I don't give to the outdoor cats because it's more expensive. <laughs> so it's like, I gotta get these different kinds of cat foods for the different cats. And it, uh, the good thing about having all these outside cats is that when we have leftovers and stuff, instead of wasting any food, it goes to them. So like, they love chicken. So any leftover chicken goes to them. Um, although my cats love chicken now too. <laughs> so they get little pieces of it. And then I was also reading a thing that chicken makes cat pee smell worse so i'm like jesus christ like, is that true because i can't just stop feeding them chicken like i get variety packs of food and there's always chicken food in it so that doesn't make any sense to me but anyway may have just been one of those stupid things that we read and then i got a thing in the mail from a place that steven worked at years ago um when we still lived at the old house and like even years before it, this was probably like seven years ago now but that they had a security breach and your social security number and everything may have may have uh, reached these people whoever broke into it but it said it happened on April 26 2023 so I don't think they would still have his info in the system because this he worked there so long ago but as a precaution, we have arranged to offer you complimentary identity monitoring services for a period of two years at no cost to you. So I might sign him up for that anyway, just to have it. But I really don't think that his information would have still been in their system after that many years. I don't. So I just got a surprise Amazon package. Well, two, because <laughs> they sent separate stuff in separate boxes um, from my friend Cassie. She sent us some Ferrero like all the different flavors. I love the chocolate one so much. I actually just opened it because I'm going to eat one right now because <laughs> I know when Steven comes home, he's going to tear up the friggin' coconut ones. And one of these super cool candles. This is one of the ones that when you melt it, it goes down to the cat skeleton. And it's so cute. I don't even want to melt it, but also it looks really cool when the skeleton is showing through. So... <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to melt it, but I'll leave it for a little while like this, and then I'll probably melt it just because it looks really cool as the skeleton. And Aiden's is right here. It's a little Santa's workshop. It's so cute. He's already asking me to uh, 
to build it, so we're probably going to have to put it together tonight. Well, I don't know if we're going to have time tonight. We'll do it this weekend, though, for sure, so that he has it set up in his room before Christmas. I love the little snowman. But thank you, Cassie. Yours should be there. To well, it'll be there by the time you see this, but it should be coming tomorrow. Don't know why I made cake pops, but I made cake pops and they were coming off the thing when I was trying to dip them. So I just did the chocolate on the tops. <laughs> Advent time. Let's, here you take that one. I'll take this one. Let's get to it. I took pictures today, mom. Yeah, I know. You always take pictures on your tablet. You didn't make your bed very nicely this morning. <laughs> He's been doing so good. A white tree! Oh my goodness. It's snowy in blur. Yeah, it's a sno or white. snowy tree. There you go. Yeah, no, Disney princess. Ian, your fingers are cold. I want you to put on another a hoodie or something, okay? I don't want to. He never wants to wear long sleeves. No, I can't put it up. If it's too long, you got to put it on one of the other hooks. All right, we only got a couple nights left. I'm getting tired of this advent. <laughs> You're tired of the advent calendars? You like the fidget one, though. Oh, I did it! It's getting easier because you ripped off most of the cardboard. A spring toy. Spring, spring, spring. What's that? Oh, it's a zipper. A zipper. It's a zipper toy. I can zip like that. Your arch nemesis. <laughs> so... Friday. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay. So 22, 23, and 24 is the only ones left. Whoa! Until what is this Christmas! One, what does this one do? It just zips up and down, right? Yeah. See the zipper? I can't do it with one hand, but you can open and close it. There you go. It's cool colors. Some of mom's favorite colors. Yay! <laughs> <coughs> as soon as I turn the camera on... I know that I recorded a lot this week, so because today's Friday, I might just end the vlog here and then put everything else in the next week, next week's vlog because there won't, we'll be done with the advent calendar, so there won't be a ton of footage from that. Um, and with Christmas, I don't know how much I'll film on Christmas Day, but there'll probably be extra because of that. I don't know what's making me sneeze this morning. Um, <clears throat> it is super cold today, so the heat is running without me even turning it up, and it's kind of warm in here. <laughs> um, I think Stephen is coming home early today, because they told him yesterday that if it's as dead today as it was yesterday, they're just going to all leave at like noon or one around lunchtime. So we'll see. That will be helpful if he can get out early today because we can get the post office done today instead of having to go tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> and we need to go... We have like three things to do and I can't remember any of it... Any, any of what it was we were supposed to do. <laughs> we were gonna go get um, some sort of alcohol for New Year's Eve because we didn't, we didn't have any drinks or anything last year. That's like the only time of the year I drink alcohol. Um, and even then it's like either friggin' wine coolers, like, um, what do you call it? I don't really like the Mike's stuff that much. I like the Smirnoff fruity drinks and oh, what is the name of those other ones? They're in like a weird, Bartles and James, I think, is it them? Yeah, those are, those are the other ones that are fruity. I like those two types of drinks. Um, and Seagram's, that, that, that was the other ones. The Bartles and James ones, I've only had a few times, but they were fruity like those. Anyway, that's really all I drink. Or, like, there's one kind of champagne that I like, and we usually get a bottle of that. But, like, 
it's so fizzy I can't drink that much of it because I get super bad heartburn because of it so it's like most of the time I don't even bother but we were like let's get something for New Year's Eve this year so we were gonna go somewhere and get something for New Year's Eve <clears throat> and we have to go to the bank too but um So much junk mail in my email that I'm trying to go through. <sighs> um, I have to, I filmed a video where I was wrapping Christmas presents and I have to edit that today and I feel like it's going to take forever because it was really long and I didn't even finish wrapping everything. I was like, this camera is going to run out of memory <laughs> or battery because I had already changed the battery once and I didn't have another one charged. Um, and I recently found out that there's such thing as dummy batteries where like it's shaped like the battery and plugs into your your camera to make it think there's a battery in there but then that's connected to a plug that goes into the wall I had no idea those existed so I could have like unlimited battery power when I film a long video which isn't very often but when when I'm trying to do something long like that and I have to keep changing the battery it's annoying because you have to keep looking up at the camera and making sure that the uh, the thing didn't shut off I don't even know how good this came out because uh, it shut off like halfway through and I don't know how much uh, it didn't record, even though I kept I kept checking, so I don't think it missed much. I'm gonna go on now, I guess, and because I already took them all off my all the clips off my camera, and go in and see how much of it got messed up. <clears throat> and I guess I'm gonna end this here, I guess, and I'll put everything else in next week's vlog. So I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, because I won't see you until, I might upload on Christmas Day, but no promises. Um, this, I mean, this might be uploaded on Christmas Day. If I can get it edited tonight, I can just set it to go up on Christmas, but either way, <laughs> I will see you guys next week.